Hey everyone, we're at ASRock's booth now at Computex 2018. We're looking at B450 motherboards. So we've already talked about these a bit. Previously we talked about the cancellation of Z490 in our news video, so that's gone. But B450 is here to stay and coming out probably end of July or something like that. Yeah, end of July is about the TBD timeline for that one. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermal Grizzlies High-End Thermal Paste and Liquid Metal. Thermal Grizzlies Cryonaut is an affordable, high-quality thermal compound that doesn't face some of the aging limitations of other pastes on the market. Cryonaut has a thermal conductivity of 12.5 watts per meter kelvin, focuses on endurance, is easy to spread, and isn't electrically conductive, making it safe to use on GPU dies. Thermal Grizzly also makes Conductonaut liquid metal, which we've used to drop 20 degrees off some temperatures in our delitted tests. Buy a tube at the link in the description below. So these boards, they've got a couple of them that we need to go over. That one's been around, but B450, you have the Gaming K4, Pro 4, HDV, which is this one right here, Micro ATX. There's another Micro ATX up here, B450M Pro 4, and then also uh, down here, the B450 Gaming ITX board with AC wireless. So in terms of the layout here, not much has changed. B450 isn't really all that new or confusing or anything. It's a pretty straightforward chipset. If you know the B300 series chipset from AMD, same basic idea, just refreshed for the Ryzen Plus lineup in Ryzen 2. The changes are primarily on the motherboard side for BIOS, memory support, memory tuning, all that stuff. Stuff that is unseen physically on these boards, but the vendors are still launching new boards. The Gaming K4, will start there. This is a pretty straightforward design. So K4 is a six plus three phase. I don't know the exact, unfortunately, MOSFETs on it because they haven't told us, but we do know that it's an intercell voltage controller. So ISL for the voltage controller, unclear on MOSFET selection, unclear on a lot of the other SMDs actually too. Uh, for PCIe assignment, there's a by 16 slot in the top, by eight in the bottom. You can see it's physically wired for 16 versus eight, and then a couple of the smaller slots in between. Other than that, that's really it for this board. So uh, B450 K4 has, I guess, in addition to those, one PCIe M.2 and the other is SATA, and that's it. That's the whole board. They do, I will say, have a heatsink that has actual fins diced out of it. It's not the fin density we'd like to see, but I guess it's okay. It's better than a lot of their competitors, so that's a start. The next board, so the B450 Pro, there's a Pro 4 and then the Pro 4 Micro ATX. B450 Pro, the ATX board down to my bottom right, is a 6 plus 3 phase. Again, unclear on the MOSFETs and also intercell voltage controller. So ISL once again, PCIe by 16 for the top, by 8 for the bottom, one PCIe M.2, one SATA and end of July price TBD on that one. I will say the Pro 4 series previously for the uh, previous B series, B350, was one of the better B350 boards. There are a lot of garbage ones and the Pro 4 was actually okay. It was acceptable. Uh, a lot of them had really, really bad VRMs and bad thermal uh, solutions, if you can call them that. So next one, B450M Pro 4, we might as well move there next. That's the Micro ATX version. Same idea, it's just smaller. Pretty straightforward for that. And then the B450M HDV right here behind me is another Micro ATX board. And this one is set up as a one, two, three, four, four plus three or something like that, possibly. We're not clear. It could be, I don't know. I don't know what the components are on there, but it looks like a four plus three. So that's the HDV board. And this one, unsure on MOSFETs once again, ISL voltage controller once again. So they bought a bucket of those and used them on everything. PCIe by 16 is the only slot on the board for this one for PCIe by 16. It is wired electrically for by 16, one PCIe M.2, uh, and then TBD for the price end of July for the release date. I think that pretty much, oh, there's one more, ITX board. It's a B450 board and an ITX form factor. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, I'm counting eight chokes on it, don't know the VRM setup for it. Uh, ISL, once again, for the controller, we'd have to pull the heat sink off to look at the MOSFETs and see exactly what those are. But that's the ASRock lineup for Computex 2018. As always, subscribe for more. Go to patreon.com slash gamersx to help us out directly. Go to store.gamersx.net to buy one of our mod mats. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.